Network. Welcome back to the 2012 U.S. Olympic Swimming Trials presented by BMW. Bria Larson seemed to come out of nowhere Wednesday night to win the 100 breaststroke and make her first Olympic team. Her coach from Texas A&M, Steve Boltman, credits a mix of hard work in the pool and diligent video analysis out of it, a combination he's used for nearly 40 years. Maria Larson looking good in lane three. It is Larson, Larson who just gets ahead of Sony. We got another player in a huge way. When Bria Larson dives into the pool, she knows exactly what she wants to do. That's because she carefully studies all of her races with her coach, who critiques her every stroke. We'll watch it either immediately or before the, you know, the next race, sometime before the next race. Pretty good finish. It was almost fully extended. Yeah. The way I imagine my stroke when I'm swimming is completely different when I'm looking at it. I'm like, are my shoulders really that hunched? Like, do I really need my elbows that back, far back? Maybe it could have been a little bit smaller with your dolphin. That's okay. far. Common for decades in other sports, watching film is now changing swimming. Russell Mark runs the team that now makes all races available to athletes within minutes of competition. It's something that is is so common in, in all the major sports, basketball, football, baseball. People will break down film, but in swimming, it's it's definitely become much more commonplace. I remember thinking right about here, I was like, okay, Bill, no, I just want to go. <laughs> in addition to video, statistical analysis is provided to further break down the race. That numerical analysis just provides another piece of the puzzle. It's got the time, it's got the split, and the number of strokes. They could look for things that they are working on, look for things that they see that they can improve on, just look for opportunities uh, between prelims and semis, semis and finals. And that's just what happened. Larson went out fast in the prelims, but then slowed down too much during her semifinal. She was a 107 flat, which was a little slower, and so we could look and see where, where was she slower and make a comparison. You, you could see it pretty clear, you know, black and white. Obviously, the adjustments paid off in the finals. Bria Larson with a perfect touch. Larson on her first Olympic team. But Larson insists it's not all high-tech cameras and split times. Her coach is the real secret to her success. The best thing um, about Steve that I appreciate the most about coaching is validation. I like to go up to Steve and say, okay, I'm doing this and this and this. He said, yes, you're doing this. And it just kind of validates it, check off the list, and go do it. Rowdy, really amazing how the sport has gone high tech. I know in your training days, back in the day, uh, working with Johnny Weissmuller and company, uh, <laughs> probably didn't have that kind very, of video equipment to deal with. Very <laughs> funny, Dan. Yes, Johnny Weissmuller, Tarzan, as some of you may know, we did have those cave paintings. <laughs> that we could just start to analyze. And, but in all seriousness, they really do some tremendous work now with video analysis, and almost every Olympian does that. And by the way, Russell Mark is just a brilliant guy. He's been helping me a lot this week. He's a rocket scientist, for crying out loud. And I know USA Swimming is glad to have him. And you were great in that supporting role with Tarzan, I just want to say. <laughs> Last four heats of the women's 200-meter backstroke. As you look.